Hey guys, it's Mark. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the best free assets for September, October 2025, where I feature some of the best models, editor extensions, scripting assets, and every single free asset that you can find for this month on the Unity Asset Store. There's over a hundred for this month. I'll show you the best ones today, and I do also have a playlist with thousands of other free assets that you might want to get hold of too. You can check out all the sales on Humble Bundle for loads of great assets and Unity's Asset Store sale too that's going on at the very moment. If you like supporting me and the channel, be sure to throw a like and subscribe, and take a look at my Patreon to get over 230 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So the first one we've got, this developer has three different packs, where it's the Cliffstone Pack small, medium, and large, and it's a collection of stylized stones and assets which include grass and other various features. We've got the flexible 2D character controller, which is an entirely customizable character controller for a platformer game, something like that, which includes things like walking, running, jumping, variable jumps, multi-jump, buffer jump, dash, crouch, roll, and slide, and wall jumping. The next one is something called the plasma shader, and this could be ideal for sci-fi weapons, magical effects, animated backgrounds, and loads of different stuff so you can customize the color, the intensity and the speed, and you can use this across 2D or 3D. One is the male zombie AAB. So this is a male zombie character with different expressions, body parts, and different versions so you can have dismemberment. So it's around 21,000 triangles for all different pipelines with five different PBR models. This doesn't include any animations, but there's plenty of animations that you can find for an awesome looking character like this. Next one is the mobile optimized free low poly cars. So it's a selection of nicely low poly cars across a sports car, pickup truck, a normal car, and maybe something more of a muscle car in a really nice low poly style. Next one, we've got Mergex, which is a complete puzzle template for a puzzle 2D game. And this is about adding three blocks of color together to open up new areas to actually expand this and go further. So it's a great way to reskin, suitable for both mobile and desktop. It's got a responsive UI and difficulty increases, all commented with C Sharp code to show how this was created. We've got the Furniture Mega Pack Free, which is really a mega pack with over 500 prefabs with beds, chairs, sofas, tables, cushions, bathroom items, and kitchen props. And there is actually a whole bunch of pretty detailed assets in this one. And it's probably the most comprehensive pack I think I've ever seen. Now we've got the Easy Kara 2D character collection. This is a particular shark based character. But there's also one for a basic child and a teacher with loads of custom animations fully to use in any adventure or RPG games with 19 different clips, different sprites and customizations to be able to use this outside of the box. We've got the Japanese Garden 2 Free which is a collection of bamboo trees and other traditional garden style aesthetics that you can find in a Japanese scene. All with prefabs with level of detail, wind effect support with different rocks and other environmental items. We've got the Nimble FX 2D with customizable UI sprites and animations. And this is all event driven and can just add really quick different effects like bounce, glow, scale, shake, rotate, and elastic with lots of little looping commands. We've got Mesh Baker Free, which is something that Mesh Baker has been around for a long time as a top asset for combining meshes together. But this one does allow you to atlas two textures together, limited to five meshes, but it could be a great way to test this out and see if it's going to be something suitable for you. I've got two things for pixel art, which are from different developers, but one is the pixel art UI essentials, which is a great selection of different 2D buttons. And also there's something called bold pixels, which is a font, which could be absolutely perfect for using with that or anything else that you want to use. The next one is something called Easy Transition, which is a scriptable object based system, which allows you to create seamless scene transitions, which really helps when you're loading different scenes or maybe just moving something in a quirky style with six different effects for fade, wipe, circle, cellular, noise, and pixelate. We've got the Component Browser, which is a powerful editor extension, which allows you to list and filter all of the components that you can see in your scene in a scrollable list so you can actually search per game object or per component. We've got the memo which is an editor sticky notes and even with Trello integration. So if you're somebody likes to add sticky notes and items for productivity, you can add this to scene objects. You can add this to assets, prefabs or anything like that and give notes to different things with colors, different tags and even web links. So you can help your team or even yourself to remind yourself what the hell you were doing. Do be sure to remember there's over a hundred in this month that you can check out with loads of sounds and other bonus content that might be suitable for you 
that I just didn't have time to show in this video. If you do like this, be sure to throw a like and make sure you subscribe because it helps me out massively. And do be sure to check out Unity Sales and everything that you can find down below because you'll miss out on some mega environmental packs. And a big thank you to all my patrons. Special thank you to Very Shooter and Party of Ten for their amazing support and everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.